Welcome to Math Cognizant. You might have seen such type of questions where you need to count the number of triangles or squares in competitive exams. Um, so what students do is go on counting the number of triangles given using shading method or different methods. Here you are going to use a simple rule and uh, solve such type of questions without consuming a lot of time. You can see uh, the triangle here is being divided vertically. When there is vertical division, what you need to do is just write down the number of triangles. And there are two methods to do this. We will use th both the methods. So 1, 2, 2 triangles add these two numbers. That is 1 plus 2 gives you 3. Let's see the second triangle. There are 1, 2, 3 triangles here. Now add all these three numbers. You will get the answer as 6. In the third question, you have 4 triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4. Add these 4 numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. That's equals to 10. And in the last question, there are 5 triangles. Add these 5 numbers. You will get the answer as 15. So there are a total of 15 triangles in this given figure. Now there is one more method to solve this using a rule. Here you need to find what is the maximum number of triangles. The first question maximum number of triangles you can see is 2. So you have to take n equals to 2. So substitute n equals to 2 and 2 plus 1 that gives you 3 divided by 2. So 2 times 3 equals to divided by 2 equals to 3. And in the next question, the maximum number of triangles equals to 3. So 3 times 3 plus 1 that is equals to 4 divided by 2. So 3 times 4 divided by 2 equals to 12 over 4 or 12 over 2 equals to 6. There are 6 triangles. And here the maximum number of triangles are 4. You can just write down 4 times 5. That is a consecutive number n plus 1 equals to 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. 20 divided by 2 equals to 10. In the last question, the maximum number of triangles are 5. So 5 times 6 divided by 2. That's equals to 30 divided by 2 equals to 15. So uh, here you can see the horizontal divisions. Horizontal division, you just write down the uh, numbers to the horizontal line, 1 and 2. So, there are two triangles, 1, 2, 3. So, it, there are three triangles formed in this figure. And the last question, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, four horizontal lines. So, there are total of four triangles formed by this figure. And in my next video, you are going to watch some um, co difficult questions like this. Hope you understood this concept. Please like, subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos.